And we've got news just in. Kyrgyzstan has uh, decided uh, to shut down the Manus air base used by NATO. Russia and the Shanghai Corporation Organization have been uh, insisting on its closure since 2005. The Manus air base was opened in 2001 and served as the main air hub for U.S.-led military operations in Afghanistan. Approximately 1,000 military personnel from the United States, Spain and France are based there. The fate of the American Manas air base in Kyrgyzstan is hanging in the balance amid speculation that the Central Asian country may ask the military to leave right now. The Kyrgyz president is in Moscow for talks with the Russian counterpart, Dmitry Medvedev, and uh, Manas could well be on the agenda. Well, the base currently provides backup support for NATO troops in Afghanistan. And Smith reports. Relations between Russia and Kyrgyzstan are warm, but this little piece of America on the latter's territory will likely be the subject of debate between the two presidents when they meet. Manas Airport in Bishkek has been home to a thousand-strong American airbase since 2001, when Kyrgyzstan joined the anti-terror coalition set up after 9-11. The troops are providing rear support for the NATO military contingent in Afghanistan. They are paying for their keep with a rent of $150 million a year to the Kyrgyz government. But the once warm welcome has chilled after incidents between locals and military personnel. In one, a Kyrgyz citizen was shot dead by a U.S. soldier who escaped prosecution due to immunity enjoyed by U.S. military at the base. Some think that if more soldiers come, there'll be more trouble. I think President Bakiev is concerned that if the conflict starts in Iran, then this base will be used for transporting more military personnel, and this may cause social disturbances. Around half the Kyrgyz population lives below the poverty line. Discontent at times boils over in protests in one of Central Asia's most politically volatile countries. Water is the major domestic source of energy for Kyrgyzstan, but it doesn't have enough hydroelectric facilities. The country has to pay market price for oil and gas from neighboring Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. They, along with China, urge Bishkek to kick the Americans out. Analysts say Russia's view, however, is driven by differing considerations. On the one hand, Russia is interested in continuing the operation in Afghanistan, which threatens security in the south. But on the other hand, the presence of the U.S. in Central Asia irritates Moscow, which encourages its Central Asian colleagues to curb this presence. In 2006, Kyrgyzstan pretended to play hardball with its American guests, saying pay $50 million more rent or quit. The Americans did neither. If Americans lose the base in the Kyrgyz Republic, it will be a big blow for them. It is a key facility of rearguard support for U.S. troops in Afghanistan. With the U.S. vowing to increase the war effort in Afghanistan, this may give more bargaining power to little Kyrgyzstan with its American tenants. Anne Smith, RT, Moscow. Well, just to remind you, Kyrgyzstan has decided to shut down the Manas air base used by NATO. Russia and the Shanghai Corporation Organization have been insisting on its closure since 2005. The Manas air base was opened in 2001 and served as the main air hub for U.S.-led military operations in Afghanistan. Approximately 1,000 military personnel from the United States, Spain and France are based there. And for more on this, uh, later in the program, we'll be joined by a professor from the Institute of the World History, Arutun Ulunyan. Do stay with us for that.